Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Hello, Goosebumps fans. So, well, let me tell you that I am at least kind of able to do videos. I'm going to suck it up and do do videos, kind of. But anyways, there is some bad news, and then I'll tell you some good news that turns into bad news and all that stuff. So anyways, let me just go into the IMDB, which thank goodness I was able to find it. It's hard to find, people. It's hard to freaking find. It's not one that you're like able to go like, a should have had this started, but I didn't. Should have, but I didn't. So here we go. There were some more episodes put on this. So are you ready for the rest of the episodes right quick? I'll just name the episodes and what the hell and then insult the person that's responsible for this, even though I don't know who, but I could tell you there's one clue that's left. A calling card of him being a coward or she's a coward. Anyways, episode seven is Curse of Camp Cold Lake. Then Chicken Chicken and lo and behold, we have Bjorn's face on it. <laughs> what the hell? Yep, so everything came to a hit now. Beware the Snowman is episode nine. Episode 10 is Haunted School. Episode 11 is One Day at Horrorland Part 1, so they're still going with, it's like, I, yeah, it does need to have two parts. Then we have Part 2. Then, here is one clue of this idiot. Either A, he's an idiot, B, he's an idiot, or C, um, superstitious. They skip Episode 13. They skip Number 13. So, Trekadecophobia button this. It's like, dude, really? Commit. Get over your fear and commit if you're going to really do this. Yeah, he skips over episode 13 and says episode 14 is Egg Monsters from Mars. Could it be a typo? Could he accidentally miss that? Yeah, he could have. But still, for right now, I'm going to say he has acute trichodicophobia. Unless you come forward and reveal that. No, you don't. <laughs> Number 15 is calling all creeps. Number 16 is curse of the mummy's tomb number 17 it came from beneath the sink and it has dates of january 10th 2011 january 12th 2021 sorry 21 not 11 monster blood now here's a good one episode 19 bjorn's nightmare aka could have been slappy's nightmare but he really wanted to just make fun so bjorn's nightmare is episode 19 episode 20 is monster blood 2 cuddles the hamster which they would not have said that crap okay that was not would have been something that they would have done so anyways let me just get out of this officially and just get rid of it it turns out that it actually is a fake for me personally, did I believe it's true? I don't know. I am like that one guy in the King of the Hill episode, Wabi Sabi, or basically, I just go with whatever. If it's real, okay. If it's not real, no, no freaking crap off my back. Did I believe it's real? Yeah. I mean, unless we have R.O. Stein, who I actually tweeted, say something, be like, which, no, he didn't. He only just said, can you please stop, com can you please stop tweeting at me, man? I can't tell you anything about this series. Just kidding. He didn't say anything, <laughs> but still it's like, yeah, personally, I would just say grain of salt, which it is true. Some person actually decided to make this big freaking thing and it's not even April 1st. You damn whore. <laughs> It's like, you damn whore. Do this at April 1st, you bastard. That would have been, well, they would have saw it coming. But I think you could have just kept on going until April 1st. I mean, come on. You have done it and just wait. And then on April 1st, you put episode 19, Bjorn's Nightmare, and waited on Chicken Chicken, put in his face there. Could, could you have waited, dude? Could you have waited? But yeah, it's a fake. There's no way, shape, or form we could find it anywhere else. It's hard to even find it personally for my for me. It's hard to find it. So yeah, um I'm okay with it not being real. 
And plus, it was kind of crap of where it's like, oh, well, <laughs> six episodes to begin with. And now he added 20 episodes. And it's like, oh, well, that's good for you. But the jig is up. You, It's like the jig's been up. You're a freaking idiot, man. You should have just continued going with this crap until the jig was really up and he officially gave out. Yeah, but personally, I still believe that it was someone's fantasy in a way. Someone's fantasy. I had to believe so because, well, if they really were going to do this, even though nostalgia part of putting the Goosebumps covers on it, the real joke, the real thing here is that they most likely would have put the logo. That's the real deal is that they would have put a logo. If they really, truly want to leak, then they would have put a logo instead of the book books. It would have been the logo. That's what really would have happened is like they would have put the newest logo and been done with it. But they didn't. They put the book reviews, which in a way is nostalgia. But on the other hand, it's kind of a cop out. Just saying it's a little bit of a cop out. And not to mention, look at it. Look at all the covers before he decided to just say, I'll frig it. The first six covers or the first covers that were featured, they all were actually from original print. So somehow this guy actually has the original print of all of them before they put the borders and stuff and put goosebumps on it. So that's like two things that's actually it's like, hmm, who would have done this? But anyways, it's not real. Sorry, folks. Sorry that it's that. Now for the good news, bad news. Good news. There will be a new, for those who actually care and like it, there will be a new thrift store video coming soon. I actually found something. Bad news. Might as well spoil it. It was a book that was missing 51 pages. <laughs> that damn kid didn't keep the book well. So yeah, it's a bittersweet episode coming soon. But that's all I really need to mention is all that. Was I fooled? Not really. Do I still believe that it should go to Disney? Hell yeah. I mean, Nickelodeon is already reign supreme with Are You Afraid of the Dark? They're pretty stupid for actually being like, oh, well, we're not going to do it this year. We're doing astronauts. Can't you do both? I mean, you hear rumors, Goosebumps is coming back, you fool. You might as well have two years of being like, look at us. Dee, 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 before season three is go time, you better bring your damn A game. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you better bring your A game. You can't. It's like Goosebumps for overshadowed you. And not to mention yours was filmed like early. It's reruns. Goosebumps was also brand spanking new. So you really got to bring your A game. Because you decide to skip a year. <laughs> Good for you. You're a fool. But yeah. For this to really work, it needs to be on Disney Channel. I know lots of people are going to be like, oh, you freaking hell. You No, 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 no. It's like, yeah, but it should. Because if we want friendly competition and rivalry for Goosebumps to be healthy and for Are You Afraid of Dark to be healthy, even though I don't know what's your plan on that. Do you like Are You Afraid of Dark? Are you cool with both of them? But either way, healthy competition helps them both out. Even though Haunting Hour didn't need that, even though they did have Death Time Tales or whatever. But yeah, Haunting Hour didn't really need that. But still, the Grampires Season 3 crap, that what the frick was that? Yeah, Season 3 got a little bit... What the hell, man? <laughs> so, just saying. It should technically be on Disney Channel. Someone told me it could be on Discovery Family, and I'm like, yeah, that's true, but they're going to have to pay extra to even get that, and Disney Channel is not that much extra, so that actually works out nicely. If they put it on a streaming service, that's okay, but then it doesn't really interact with Are You Afraid of Dark, so Nick can just continue doing did 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 while... Sony and everyone else can go did 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 it too and they both don't even butt heads and it's like but that's what it's all about you two butting heads trying to outdo each other trying to actually say hey you should be watching us versus hey you should be watching us you need to have friendly competition in this and that's why I say Disney Channel is reign supreme would definitely bring it it's like they would actually be there plus again Disney has at least the theme song credit 
or they have ownership of it and many other stuff. So, yeah, if they really want to bring the original song back, they have to go to Disney. Not to mention, again, Disney is shugging hands with Sony Pictures animation. Either way, they do have a relationship with them. So it makes sense that it could go to Disney. For people who will be like, oh, God, no, Disney. Oh, no. Oh, no. They won't have ownership. They'll just be distributors. That's it. They won't have ownership. Well, they do have ownership of the music and stuff, but they won't actually have ownership of the new music that they're going to put into the thing. And if they're going to use the other ones and they won't have ownership, Sony will still have like a part in this. Classic will have full part of this. But Disney will just be only the ones who actually have the show. They'll just actually just air the show. That's all they have. They're not going to do anything else to it. Well, anyways. Wow. I was Gary. They have a scary night, folks. And for those who actually are saddened by this, sorry that it ended this way. Did I really want it to be real? Uh, not really. <laughs> it's like, not really. I kind of sort of would have liked to have some other way of doing this. And not to mention, I would prefer just someone else that would leak it. And it's not even a leak. It's like, damn, dude. You trigger dickophobia, man. You got to get over it. Scary day, scary night.